So L-O-V-E, love is in the air. And while we tuck into those delicious cupcakes, Palesa is out in Komiki today to catch up with influencer and lifestyle blogger Babalwa Ndualana. Thank you so much, Jeannie. Good afternoon, South Africa. I'm coming to you live from the Last Word Hotel, all the way in Long Beach, Komiki, where it is, as you can tell behind me, an absolutely beautiful day. And what's even more beautiful, of course, is celebrations. So next to me, we have recently <laughs> engaged, mother of two, lifestyle blogger, influencer, Babalwa, a woman of many talents, quite clearly. Girl, congratulations. Please, may you spill the tea. Thank tell you. me Thank all you about so it. Tell me all about it. I'm so jealous. Well, well Zola, uh, my fiance, he proposed on the 19th of October, which is a day before my birthday. He actually had this whole setup. We had a picnic set out oh. at a beautiful forest in Durbanville. And he proposed right there. He got a photographer to capture the moment, obviously. And I knew nothing about it. Like, I was just a week after. It was a week after I had given birth to our second born, Ngorsi. And a few days later, he proposed. So. So my, all, my, all my family knew about the whole thing and I, I did not know anything. So it was quite a special moment, I must say. I mean, I do love a good surprise and it sounds like Zola knew exactly how to make you smile, which I'm all about. Yeah. And other people that make you smile are your two little ones. Now, South Africa, I just have to say, this lady is a wonder woman. You found out you were pregnant with your second born when your first born was only six months old. I mean, yeah. how are you even alive right now? I am literally hanging by the thread. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It's really not that deep. I feel like people make it really difficult, but it's not that much. Like, mm. with the great support system that I have, it's not that difficult managing a household and managing two little babies. Aww. So it's so much fun. Like, we really do enjoy being parents, and being a mom is something that I've always wanted to be. So it's honestly, like, the best thing that could have ever happened to yeah, me. Yeah, and it looks so good on you. You are glowing from the inside out. I can just see the happiness <laughs> exuding out of you. But something Thank else you. that exudes out of you is your drive, your ambition, your hustle. You are a full-on hustler. And I just, you know, I take my hat off to you. Do you, you believe right now where you are in life, whether it's career and family, is this it? Or have you, can you definitely say, Mama, not. I've made it? <laughs> definitely not, definitely not. So, funny thing is, it's, I feel like it's really only the beginning because growing up, I always wanted to be on television and when I actually was on a TV show that played on SABC3 when I was 16. Mm. So um, as I approached my final year in high school, my parents really said that I need to find something, like I need to study and get a qualification. Yeah. So I did my research and found a degree that would be intertwined with the industry, which is advertising. So I did a BA in marketing communications at the AAA School of Advertising. Mm. And I feel like I'm on the road into being the woman that I've always aspired to be um, with using my platform such as my Instagram growing my following mm. uh, all the time I'm on to that journey and also being in the advertising industry so I'm definitely not there but I must say I'm on the right path in yeah. to becoming that person that is so key it's very very crucial I mean I always say that you might know your destination but you don't know the paths and the lanes that life definitely. might take you definitely. you just have to be willing to go for the journey and your it's journey has been Beautiful. I Thank think you. that you have done everything with such grace, with such poise, and with an incredible amount of strength. Mm. So when you look at yourself right now and the path in your career that you've come, what's the most exciting moment that stands out for you or in life in general? I think the most exciting thing about this whole journey is the fact that people have received me quite well, which is something that I really wasn't planning on doing. Like, People call me an influencer, a mom blogger, content creator, and it's really nothing that I planned. So all the content that I create is very organic, it's very natural, and most of the content I put out there, it's really just me journaling my life on a day-to-day -day basis. And mm. it's quite nice and quite surprising and exciting that people are really receiving it so well. Mm. It's really heartwarming. And I think yeah. people connect with how genuine you are. They connect with your authenticity, and people love 
love. I mean, we That's all love true. love. That's we love true. to see something in someone else that resonates within us. So you resonating Definitely. with South Africa and we are listening. We are paying attention. But we have so much more to come up with you a little bit later on in the show. We're getting our nails done. We're having a full on pampering session here. As you can see, we're having such an incredible time at the Last Word Hotel here in Long Beach, Komeki, where, of course, Afri Derm is taking care of our every skincare need. Over to you, Jeannie. You're beautiful. Love the shade of your skin. An all-in-one solution for beautiful skin.